Trading Monkey, day trading live this morning, going short on stock FTK, pre-market through market open, all the action live. Let me give you a couple of highlights about this stock. Yesterday, this stock closed at $1.41. So far this morning in pre-market, has got to a high of $3.04. Let's get right to the action. Look at my market clock. It's 9.29 and 50 seconds. As soon as I press the play button, we'll see all the action live. No fast forward, no rewind. Like always, there's my one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two time and sales. Before we get going here, so I took a trade today, a short trade, and it was green. I told you yesterday I was gonna have a green trade and I had a green trade. I was patient, followed my rules. Even though in the pre-market, I seen a beautiful trade to be had on the short side of things. Usually when I see a stock and it's overextended and I notice that's probably gonna be a short trade, I will move on to another stock that is gonna be more of a long potential. But this morning, the stock was just too pretty to pass up and there were shares to short on this stock. I think you should learn both sides of trading if you're going to trade so you can kind of see you have the mental sense of, oh, this is where the shorts would get in. This is where the longs would get in. I'm no professional by no means, but I'm learning as I go. And today was green. Let's press play and get going here. Click. 51, 52, the market's going to open like five seconds. I noticed this kept getting up to $3 and just being sold straight back down. $3 was the top. Here we go. Market's open. Boom, boom, boom. So I was looking. I was definitely looking for a short, but sometimes at the open, it will spike up. But look at it. Being sold off right now, right there. So I'm just being patient. I will not trade in the first minute. You guys know that. So I stuck to that rule. Look at that thing. Boom, boom, boom. Already being sold, sold, sold. This thing had so, so much downward pressure. I just needed to find my spot to get in here. So I was hoping it would make a try to make a little move after it sold off right here and come up towards that 289. And that's where I was looking to get short. I actually load up in my montage at 288 200 shares i haven't done it yet because it's the first minute i'm just seeing see it looks like it's bouncing off that vwap there so i'm going ooh, maybe some long still got some power in this and we'll try to give it one last push towards that three dollars let's see if they can make it this time they have not been to break through that three dollars all through the pre-market this thing's so overextended from $1.40 to $3. Never in its lifetime, maybe years ago, it's got this high, but it was just too much. Here it goes. Here's its push. Boom, 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 boom. It's going, going, going. Usually I love to see green candles. This time I, I wanted to see a green candle, but I wanted to short right into it. So I load up in the montage 288. I don't pull the trigger though. I do not pull the trigger because I'm trying to be laser focused and just make sure my trade today was going to be green. I caught my trade live and you will see it. It's actually on a little bit later on, but I just want you to get there's so much valuable learning experience on the level two time and sales in my charts here. Just seeing this is a perfect stock. I put this stock in my two trade list every time this thing moves beautiful it doesn't have no funky stuff to it it's just a beautiful follows patterns it's perfect stock if i were you i would put this one on your two trade list ftk this is, stock is wonderful i'm not just saying that because i took a good trade on this stock but i'm saying that just look how it moves it's just consistent it moves very consistently I'm not sure what the float is on this. Oh, around 49 million. So the float's up there a little bit, but still a lower float stock, below 100 million. So it's at 278, 277. I wish I really could have got in at that 288 right there. Would have been a perfect spot. Now I'm just looking, where can I get in now? Look, it's making another run. Boom, boom, boom. If I would have been... uh. There, I should have took a trade. I tried to think, where am I going to load up in the montage? I put it down to 283, and I still do not pull the trigger because not because I'm hesitating. I'm not saying that word, but because I'm being patient today. I'm being patient, and I'm making sure my setup is valid and my setup is real. 
there was so many great trades to be had in the tr uh, in the pre-market on the short side of things. I learned from this other trader, this other YouTuber, about false breaks. And I'm really starting to pay attention to like if it breaks through a whole dollar, but it doesn't break through on the long side. If you're going short, if it if it's trying to break through a whole dollar and it doesn't do it with conviction and stay above that whole dollar, then that's basically a false break. On a long trade, you would it come down into the whole dollar, and if it doesn't break, or on a short, I'm trying to think, but anyways. On a on another trade, if it goes down into the dollar but doesn't break below it with conviction, then I, ever since I heard that, I started really paying attention to those whole dollar levels and just levels where it has support and resistance. Uh, that is something to look into if I were you. I'm the worst at explaining things. I'm good at just watching the charts, level two, time and sales. Look at this thing. So it's just not getting the power. And this is the first four minutes of the market is open. This is when the most volume comes in and the buyers are not here. So what are you going to look to do? Short this thing. But why is this one not one of the ones that will U-shape around? There's a lot of different reasons I came up for that. But maybe it will later on in the day. I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to show you this beginning part. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful short trade from 283. If I would have got in there, 283 to 268. Look at that. Still dropping. I really thought it was going to get down to 250. I don't know if it was going to get lower than that today, but I just want, was thinking 250 is a good number where I was thinking. Okay, so my trade does not actually happen in the first... 10 minutes so i'm gonna move on to another video i just wanted to show you the first five six minutes look at my market clock it's 9 55 so it's been about 20 minutes we left off on that red candle right there around 9 35 so i was just being super patient watching this stock watching this stock that purple line's my vwap you see it's getting right up to that vwap and then that last green candle that just closed is a doji candle. And sometimes that is a reversal candle. So I take my trade in about eight seconds. I'm going to short sell the stock. And what that means is you sell your shares first and you buy them back later lower for a profit, hopefully. Let me press play and get going here. Boom. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to take the trade right now. I sell 200 shares at a price of 273. I'm very confident in my uh, entry. I'll get out if this gets above 277. I'm setting a super tight risk. I'm trying to get profit down towards that 262. I'm going to be super patient. I'm keep on telling this in my head. Super patient. I've done everything right so far today. I followed every single rule. This is my last shot. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I be patient? Can I just ride through this trade? Don't even get out on a pullback. Let's see what it does. I get out right there. I still exit the trade at a price. I buy back my shares at a price of 269. So I make four cents. Nobody went broke taking profits early. But yes, you can if your trade doesn't even pay for commissions. So I got a green trade, but with commissions, I've actually lost $1. Let's see how this trade plays out. Look at me. I cannot believe I did everything right. And then right at the end, I blow it. But that's, I'm learning. I'm learning. Look at this thing. Boop, 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 boop. Straight down. Just how I seen it in my head playing out. 259. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. That was a beautiful trade. I did a beautiful entry. My exit. I'm working on, I'm working on. Let's let this play out for another minute or two just to see what happens. I was really thinking it could get down to 250 or even 249, but I wasn't real sure. So, well, I exit the trade way up there. I wasn't thinking <laughs> nothing past that point, except I was just so focused on being green today. I had that in my head. I did not want to mess up, but you got to let your trades play out. You can't, 
I'm telling myself this. I've uh, one guy told me in the comments, you just let your trades play out, and that is absolutely true. I'm learning. I'm a new trader. I'm still learning, but I'm getting this thing. I'm getting it. We got this. Hopefully, you guys learned something from all this. Look at this thing down to 258 right now. But look at all those orders on the bid stacking up right there. 20,000. So I think that's short traders actually uh, buying back their shares right there for their profit right there. That's what I think it is. Who knows if I'm right or wrong. But anyways, green is green. 